upgrading your Seeking Unit V3 to V5 Legacy with the V6 Communications Board. Before commencing the upgrade with the V6 Communications Board, you will first need to make sure you have the latest CNET Pro software. Details on how to obtain this can be seen in the linked videos in this playlist. Equipment required. For this upgrade you will need a pair of smooth jaw pliers, a 5mm nut spinner and an o-ring pick to set switch settings. Safety precautions to be observed. Observe electrostatic discharge safety at all times when handling the printed circuit boards. Please be aware that the internal unit may be pressurised, so due care and attention is needed when attempting the following steps. Accessing the PCB stack. Remove the locking ring by twisting it anti-clockwise. Using the end cap puller, remove the PCB board stack. Disassembling the PCB stack. Undo the retaining nuts and bullet posts, taking care not to damage any components. To aid in later reassembly, care to be taken to put the PCBs in order. Remove the boards to access the communications PCB. Jumper settings. Jumper settings differ between seeking products. To find your current settings, conduct the following steps. First of all, examine the outer label of your TriTech product. This should tell you the communications protocol the seeking product is set to. To confirm the internal jumper settings, log on to the TriTech website. On the red band, select Support Center. Select Manuals. Select CNET Survey System Manuals. Select System Manuals. Select ARCnet and Serial Communication Settings. Scroll down to page 3 and find your product. In this case, we have a seeking imager set to RS-232 on both ports. Here you will find a diagram which you can compare your communications board with. Make note of the jumper settings on the communications PCB within the unit. In this case, the jumper settings are set to RS-232. 
your new V6 board will need to emulate these settings. V6 switch settings. To find these settings, log on to the TriTech website. On the red band, select Support Center. Select Manuals. Select CNET Survey System Manuals. Select System Manuals. Select ArcNet and Serial Communication Settings. Scroll down to page 50. Here you will find the switch settings for the V6 Communications Board upgrade. Setting the switch settings. For this video, settings are RS232 on both ports. Set switch 1.2 and 1.4 to the on position as shown. Reassembly of the board stack. Fit the remaining PCBs to the stack remembering to fit the spaces. Followed by the retaining nuts and the bullet posts as per the silk screen on the PCB. Rehousing the board stack. Place the board stack into the body tube. On the connector end cap, there is a guide peg to ensure the PCB board stack fits correctly. Lining up the guide peg. Move this to the corresponding hole on the body tube, then press firmly down. Fit the retaining ring and twist it clockwise until it is secure. Care is to be taken while carrying out this step to ensure the retaining ring threads are not damaged. Establishing communications. In CNET Pro setup, confirm that communications can be established. This will show Node 2 for Sonars. Close down CNET Pro setup and open up CNET Pro. Select Single Sonar from the Applications menu. Your sonar is now ready for use. That was upgrading your Seeking unit V3 to V5 Legacy to the V6 Communications Board. We hope you have enjoyed watching this training video. For more information on our training, contact training at tritech.co.uk or visit our website www.tritech.co.uk